Hey guys, Oz here bringing you another video. Welcome to something a bit different if I am choosing to upload this, which I think I will because it's always fun to share. We've got a box to unbox. Uh, I know this is from Riot. And before we get into it, I'll just say, and Bubbly Bob, Bob, thank you much for the 39 months. I don't know if, if you guys follow me on social media. And obviously I unboxed the hot steel thing a few months ago when Maya helped me unbox it. I don't know what's happened, but Riot has gone from sending, you know, occasional things to a lot. Like, I've had a lot of packages from Riot in the last few months. Like, it's been nuts. I don't know whether, like, because obviously there's not many UK content creators. If, you know, in America, A's 28, 49 months tier one, thank you very much. In America, content creators and stuff, they might spread out all these packages to, like, different ones. So not, you know, content creators aren't getting all of them. But because there's not many UK ones, and obviously my working relationship with Riot is very good, I think I just get sent all of them. To be honest, I, I think I just get sent all the packages, you know, so fair enough, I guess. Um, so it's a non-descriptive uh, fake wooden box. Uh, it's a thick cardboard and I can say it smells a bit weird. It smells like, you know, like a paint, like a varnishy paint kind of smell. That's what it smells like. It's quite strong. OK, so I'm not going to look into it. I'm not going to show you. I'm going to just put my hand in and take things out. OK, so. This, I will say I did have a peek into this earlier. Well, I didn't look into it. I put my hand in. I, I grabbed this. And this is why I knew this where it was. Every single time that Riot send me something or send contact with something, there's always something like this that basically has, when can we share this with everyone? Yeah. It was January 4th. That was like nearly 20 days ago. Like, hello? Um, this was from Riot HQ, by the way. So this was from LA. May, like, I don't know, maybe that was a delay there, but yeah. So I think we're, we're past January 4th. Okay, and next thing, we have an envelope. Ooh, what's in the envelope? <laughs> yeah, it'd be January 2025. Okay, we have sticker. Oh, no. Oh, okay, this kind of gives away what this is all about. Um, So there's that. <laughs> So there's a sticker. Um, there's another sticker. Uh, again, focus is going to be our problem here. But you can get the gist of what it is. Um, then there's another sticker. And if you don't know what this is, by the way, this is the upcoming champion. This is the dragon AD carry. And there's even a patch. Do you fill it like, what's the idea? Do you fill in the color yourself? That's got a sticky back to it, I'm pretty sure. So that's like a sticker that you can maybe like draw in. I don't know. Is there everything else? Is there anything else in this? I just want to double check. Don't want to miss anything. Yep, we're all good there. All right, I'm having a peek. Oh! Okay, I'm going to save the big thing till last. Oh! We got this magnetic poster hanger frame. Um, made in China. So, yeah, it, 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 this is a magnetic hanger frame, which I presume, oh, that's a tight fit, is for this. So again, there is more in the box. So we've got this, this, which presumably, there's more than one. What the heck? Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! That's really cool, man! Whoa! Dude, it's really good quality paper, and there's there's multiple of them. So then the, I'm guessing this is like a background of Smolder a bit, like that might be Smolder's mum, because obviously Smolder's mum is his alt. So that's cool. Looks a bit, I don't know. That looks like Viego's sword a bit. This is from the cinematic. Oh, I don't remember that. And then there's that one. So again, I don't know if, if this magnetic hanging frame, can I hang all three or is it just pick one? I don't know, because that's what I presume this is. And then, oh God, nearly dropped everything. The last thing in the box, I think. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, this is something that we cannot give Miss Maya. Adam. 
That's actually really cute. That's actually a pretty damn cute plushie. Not as cute. Get out of town. Not as cute as the Huzzy plushie. Not as cute, but pretty cute. I got too many plushies. Yeah, you guys can have Poro's butt. So there you go. I, I pres this this might this might be for sale on Riot Store. I've got no idea. Um, so yeah, if you want to smolder plushie, then it might be available soon. So over show seventy nine months tier three says another bad joke. Two cannibals are eating a clown. One says to the other, "Does this taste funny to you?" I've heard that one so many times. But thank you very much. Uh, but there we go. Um, so there's that. We got the posters, which is great. So yeah, thank you very much, Riot. Um, those artworks are actually really nice. And what I would say, as like a small tangent about plushies at the end, uh, um, I obviously still have a few plushies myself that I am selling privately. But uh, I do want to share news. Obviously, the campaign was a success with Teespring, but then unfortunately they lost the shipment that obviously was going to Europe. So if you ordered a Huzzy plushie that went to Europe, you never got it from Teespring. And I think Australia as well. Just to announce, I am planning this year to potentially do another plushie, but with a different company. Um, I can't actually off the top of my head remember what company it is, but let me just see if I type in plushie in my search bar. Um, yes. Okay, so the company that I'm looking to do it with, and I just want to explain this at the end of this video, it's called Makeship. They only do plushies, and the really good thing with Makeship is they basically only allow a certain amount of plushies at a time, and they really put, like promote them. So I think 300 plushies is also their limit, but because they promote them like more, if it's just a cool design, other people who aren't even part of your community potentially will buy them. Uh, there was one recently, it was a goblin bard. It went absolutely nuts. It sold like over 10,000 plushies. It was very cool. So I'm looking to do that. I might start the procedure of doing that pretty soon. Um, it won't be the, the same as the OG. It'll be a different design. Um, I'm half even tempted to theme it like, you know, the Huzzy plushie doing something, you know, like that. The one that did very well was the Goblin Bard. So do I do a bit of something like that? Do I do the Huzzy plushie as a knight or something? I don't know. But um, yeah, just small update about that at, at the end, because I know people ask about plushie stuff. But yeah, thank you very much to Riot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If I do throw it in somewhere, uh, hell, if I don't have it as a second video or something on uh, the main channel, I'll upload this on Huzzy Extra. I am planning to start use Huzzy Extra more. Um, and yeah, that no, that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be uploaded to Huzzy Extra. Um, I'm going to start trying to use Huzzy Extra a bit more. <clears throat> There's a couple of games on my radar that I want to do small playthroughs of, and I want to upload them to Huzzy Extra. The big one is Prison Architect 2. Some of you may remember, if you've been here for a very long time, seven years ago, I did a playthrough of that on the main channel before this was my full-time job. Um, I want to do a Prison Architect series. Obviously, I've done a Jurassic Evolution series and stuff like that. So uh, <clears throat> I want to start doing little things like that again because they, those are very fun to do. <coughs> so anyway, that's going to be it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, <coughs> throw a like on it. Throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime.